That's right, Russell, and our sports director, Dugan Lloyd, was there, and he joins us live in the studio. Dugan, I hear this one was circled on the Pirates' calendar coming into the year. Oh, for sure, Celeste, you hit it on the nose right there. These current players and coaches, they had not beaten App State in two previous tries. You'd actually have to go all the way back to 2012 for the last win over the Mountaineers. On the topic of history, the Pirates haven't started 3-0 since 2008. This place was juiced, and so was quarterback Jake Garcia. He's taken heat for interceptions all week, but unfazed early. 65 yards to Winston Wright Jr. and ECU strikes first. Garcia, he was good for 226 air yards in this one. Still early, App State goes into their bag of tricks with the flea flicker. Look out for Siobhan Ravel. The Pirates defense gets in on the scoring here as he houses it from 50 out. They'd lead 16 zip after a miss PAT. When the Mountaineers finally get rolling inside the red zone, Joey Aguilar to Eli Wilson on the play action. That makes this a one-score game at 16-8. They tack on a field goal for the half, and then final minute of the third, it's Makai Jackson hauling in a bomb from Aguilar to suck the air out of this place. That puts App State up 21-16. to EC would cut that to two in the fourth, but we're in need of a late stop. Look at the play by Zakai Barker popping the ball loose. It's Pirates football. A field goal could potentially win it here in the final minutes. Garcia, the gunslinger, looks deep, but is picked off by Seth Robertson. What a play there for App State. They can essentially salt the game away with a few first downs here. This time Aguilar fires off target, but Gavin Gibson just misses it. That deflection to Makai Davis basically seals it. The visitors pull off a comeback for the ages to the dismay of Pirate Nation. App State, they score 21 straight to win by two as ECU picks up their first loss in the game riddled with missed kicks, drops, and turnovers. We had our opportunities. You know, if we make the plays, you know, we make the catch, you know, we don't fumble that ball, you know, we hit a couple of kicks, you know, we don't have the personal foul on the two-point conversion, you're sitting here celebrating a huge win. Uh, but you got to make those plays, and we didn't. Like I heard Coach Maddox say about a 24-hour rule, right? And you could sit in it for 24 hours, and um, it'll hurt for 24 hours, but then, I mean, we're on to the next one. So um, just got to have, I say it every time I'm up here, man. Have that short-term mindset, right? Um, the goldfish mindset. Man, after tomorrow, man, we really gotta flush it, and I'm it's gonna be a big, a big thing. You know, I'm gonna talk to the guys today. I'm gonna talk to the guys tomorrow, man. We really gotta flush it after we go through practice, watch film. It's got to be in the drain. You feel what I'm saying? So, uh, and I'm I'm pretty sure the guys in that locker room, man, they'll be they'll be just fine with it. You feel what I'm saying? So, not really too stressed about that right now. You feel what I'm saying? We'll take it in tonight, watch the film tonight or whatever. But tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it'd be flushed.